and welcome back to Waverly Reads. So today it is the end of July, I can hardly believe it. It's August already. Can we just talk about the fact that in 10 days I'm turning 18? That's a scary thought. So to end up this month I'm going to be doing my July wrap up and I read so many books but a lot of them were really short so don't know if that really counts but I'm gonna say it did. So here's a pile of the books that I have read this month and you know it's quite a big pile, I'm pretty proud of it. Um, minus one book which I borrowed from the library and had to return. So let's get started! So the first book this month that I actually read is the one I had to return to the library. Sadly I do not own it myself but I'm going to soon because I need this entire series in my life. And that is The Infinite Sea by Rick Yancey. This is the follow on novel to The Fifth Wave and I love this book so much, just as much as I did The Fifth Wave. It was amazing and I loved it with all of my little heart's content. And this book got a 4.2 stars out of 5. I enjoyed it very, very thoroughly. The next book I read this month was P.S. I Love You by Cecilia Ahern. It's a book that follows the life of a widow after her husband has died and he has left her these notes to open once a month to show her how to go on with her life after he had died. Sadly I did not enjoy this book as much as I would have liked. It didn't appeal to me very much as I was reading it, I wasn't really into the characters and I didn't feel like she was at that point in her life where she should be after her husband has just died. Plus I just really think I'm not into the whole contemporary thing right now which is really such a shame because I love going into books knowing there aren't books to follow it like it's not a series but most standalones I own are contemporary so I can't really read anything that isn't a series right now which freaking sucks. And this book got 3.1 stars out of 5. The next book I read this month was Will Grayson Will Grayson by John Green and David Levithan. This book follows two boys named Will Grayson. One at Will Grayson is gay, the other is straight and their paths cross with some friends and I think it's super cute. I enjoyed this quite a bit. I read it in one setting. It was so enjoyable. I loved the writing style from the two different authors. You always tell which Will Grayson was talking and it was great. I enjoyed this so much. It was a really fun read and I loved all of the characters. It was just really great to read. And this book got four stars out of five. The next book I read was The Maze Runner by James Dashner. I, I was terrified to start this book. I wasn't sure if I would like it because not many people have enjoyed the series that I know of. but. It had a really, really slow start for me. I didn't really enjoy it for like the first half, but when the action started and it got really intense and I got more addicted to it, and towards the end I did start to really enjoy this, so I probably will be continuing with the series if I have the guts. The book follows a boy named Thomas who puts into this maze with a group of other boys. This group only has teenage boys. It starts off as the new person in this group and, you know, he has to like he has no memories of his past life, he knows absolutely nothing about what's going on or where he is, just as everyone else doesn't. Just as he's starting to work out the ropes, everything starts to change because a girl is sent into the maze and she is given a note that says she is the last one. He goes into the maze and they have to basically try to find their way out. I probably just gave that no justice, it probably sounded really boring or like really stupid, but towards the end I did enjoy this book so I'm hoping the other to live up to it. And in the end I did end up giving this book a 3.8 stars out of 5 so I must have enjoyed the ending that much that it saved this book. And the next book I read this month was The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins, one of my favourite novels slash trilogies ever. This book follows a girl named Katniss who volunteers when her sister is pulled out for the Hunger Games. She goes into the game, she trains, she's really good with a bow and arrow. Just before they go into the games, her district mate slash partner, pe well not really partner, more like enemy, but yeah, Peter Alark announces that he is in love with Katniss to the entire capital and the entire district. So they are known as the Starcraft lovers. And basically Katniss is just trying to survive her life in the games and trying to get out alive so she can see her sister Prim again. Series has my heart, I love this series immensely. Series has my heart, I love this series immensely. Ugh, oh, this series. And this book got 4.7 stars out of 5. I love this series, like, so much. And then the rest of the books I read this month are part of one series and I just want to go on a quick little rant at the fact that 
I was pushing myself to read this series so much and I'm so sad that I did because this was a reread series for me and I was enjoying every minute of it up until the last few days this month when I realised that I might not finish this series this month and I was so dedicated to pushing myself and then there's one book in this series that I read so fast that I don't really remember half of it so it's so sad and in the end I didn't end up finishing the series anyway. I gave up these past two days because I just I wasn't enjoying where I was at and like I don't think I was mentally stable enough to read the end of this series. And that series is the Cirque du Freak Saga by Darren Shan. As you can see, I read the first nine books and I have three more books to go. I just went talking for like five minutes about this series, going through each book and what it's about, and then I realised that like everything I'm saying is spoilers for the previous books if you haven't read any of the series, which is a bad thing. So basically, this theory is about a boy named Darren Shan who becomes a vampire. He and his mentor Mr. Krepsy get into a lot of trouble in a lot of different places trying to fight the vampires and basically save the vampire clan from certain destiny war type stuff. It's an amazing series. I don't want to say much about it because like I said, I just went through talking about every single book and then I was like, shit, I can't do that. The first book is The Certainty Freak. This book got 4.1 stars out of 5. Second book is The Vampire's Assistant. This book got 4.3 stars out of 5. The third book is Tunnels of Blood. This book also got 4.3 stars out of 5. The fourth book, Vampire Mountain, also got 4.3 stars out of 5. The fifth book, Trials of Death, got 4.4 stars out of 5. This is my favourite book of the series along with one other. This is the first book I read in the series, which is kind of weird. I read this when I was like 8, 9 years old, so... That's a thing. The sixth book, The Vampire Prince, got 4.3 stars out of 5. The seventh book, Hunters of the Dusk, got 4.3 stars out of 5. The eighth book, Allies of the Night, would you guess, also got 4.3 stars out of 5. And the ninth book, which is my other favourite in the series, got 4.4 stars out of 5. Fun facts about this book, it is the first book I ever cried at, like, ever. It's... Oh god. <laughs> this series has such a special place in my heart. It's the first series I ever read and completed and this book is the first book I ever cried at so this series has a lot of sentimental value to me and that's why I reread it this month. So these are the 14 books that I read this month. There's only 13 in this pile like I said because I had to leave one at the library. I enjoyed all books I read this month. Even though I had a little bit of a struggle with P.S. I Love You, I still enjoyed them all very, very much. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up.